quick video on this ground strap here. I replaced the hood ground strap. All right. You can see back there. I got a brand new ground strap here. Okay. And now, in order to get that bolt back in, so I had to take. It was like a. It was like a mount. I had to take that bracket off. In order to get to that bolt, I also had to take the cover off. Now, as you can see, I got it zip tied together because there's no other way to get that bolt in there without those wires coming apart. And you can't get your hand in there enough to actually uh, be able to put in the wires one at a time to make sure both wires are in there. So I had to zip tie them together. And now I'm going to try to get the bolt back in. So I just thought I'd give you guys a, a quick rundown on how that uh, replacing the ground strap works. So we succeeded to get it in. As you can see, it's in there now. Okay, but a uh, word of caution. Um, you might be best suited to take the slide off. Just to line up most of the top of the throttle body, okay? You can disconnect that at the back by squeezing it together and pulling up. You'll feel in the back there, there's a clamp. You squeeze on that, you pull up on that, that'll come out. So the zip tie trick worked. I, I think without that, I wouldn't have been able to get it in there. So once you've taken this tube off, because this tube gets in your in the way of your hand, the palm of your hand. So if you get that out of the way, you'll be able to reach your hand in there a lot better and twist it in there. Another thing too is it takes a lot of patience. So if if you're the type that you know you blow a gasket pretty easily, you might want to get a garage to do this. Um, definitely be worth the its weight in gold. I believe they charge an hour labor for that. So anyway. Uh, it is what it is and uh, hopefully you don't have to take it to the garage and get it done as well.